What's up brick builders? Today's build is another mixel from the series one and it's Shaf set number 41505. The year it came out was 2014, age group 7 plus, number of parts 51. Price per piece is 6 pence, that's still pretty high. Uh, cost back in 2014 was 2.99 in the foil bag. Value now if you had a mint sealed foil bag you're looking at 15 pounds used you're looking at five to seven pounds not a massive investment what's up folks sean from britain bricks once again we are back with another mix of this camera this camera that's not a camera that's a microphone um once again we're back with another mix build from series one it's the last one of the rock type mixels so the next video we'll be doing check uh, you know look out for that will be the max um i can't remember what it's called now uh wait a second it might be in here it might be in here yeah cragsters so okay so it's cragsters so these are the cragsters i guess um so yeah it's called cragster uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, let's check it out, shall we? This is also part of the James York Challenge, by the way. Hit that link. You know what to do. And also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. If you don't like the video, if you don't like the video, let us know why. And if you love the video, please drop a comment. Let us know. That would be awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like as well. Yes. Right. Do it. Okie dokie, so we got some new parts. Got these uh, rock bricks, which are kind of cool. So we got those. Um, we are seeing what else we got here that's new. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another rock part. It's the it's like a crystal, which is kind of cool. There's that. Got the googly eyes. Uh, we've got the usual suspects. We've got the return of these two guys as well. So those appeared first time in uh, Mixels um, in the last video, actually. And what else we got that's new? Nothing. That's it. So it's just those pieces that are new to our eyes and uh, are building... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Resume. <laughs> Let's start. Let's get the instructions up for you. This is uh, this is starting off really well, isn't it? There we go. Right. So just double check. Yes, we got the uh, the uh, instructions up for you. We're gonna start with a one by two plate with four studs on one side. So it's one by two with four studs on one side. He's gonna stand up all on his own like that, and then he's gonna be joined by the one by two plate with the ball socket. He's gonna be joined by two of those, and they're gonna be off each side like that because we're going to be putting another one of these plates with the four studs on the back like that so you got a little box forming you got four studs on one side on the back end four studs on the front and on the left and the right hand side you got the ball sockets first stage second stage is we're going to put a two by two plate in the middle just to just to reinforce that and then on keeping this side towards you you're going to start designating the front and the back in a minute a dark bluish gray one by two plate is going to be on the two studs on that two by two plate closest to you these two studs here these last two remaining black studs are going to have the one by one plate with the clip one pointing out to the right one pointing out to the left like so and then we're going to top that off and level it up with another two by two plate like so and then you've got this rather fancy looking brick and we're going to put another layer on by using the same one by two plates with four studs and you're going to have the four studs on the left side and the right side this time okay see that so we've got four studs on this side and on the back and then next layer up they're on the left the right and the left 
in this space now we're going to be dropping a two by two brick so that almost instantly levels it right up and then we're going to put over the side here to join the first four studs so we've got one there's a 10 one by two but it's hanging down instead of pointing up so it's going to be hanging down and we've got two of those so now you should this is the front because you've got your gray plate there your dark gray dark bluish gray plate there um this is your front so you should now have eight studs on the front and the back and you should have four studs on the right and the left keeping the front facing you and we are putting a black plate two by two black plate on the tanned studs just turning it slightly to the left we're going to be using these two studs here next we're going to be putting the one by two sloped dark bluish gray brick and then on this two studs here we're going to put a one by three black brick like that next to it so it will be an uneven slope the slopes are going to face down towards the ball socket and on the two by two plate we're going to put a one by two dark bluish gray on the top two studs like that so you should have two studs on the bottom here that are black and then your four gray and your two dark bluish gray you should end up with something like that it's going to be quite a bulky build <clears throat> Uh, right, so next what we're going to be doing with this part here is we're going to put a first rock face on there and that should just fit neatly over the top like that because you've just built that step up area for it to, to sit in. And also, aye aye, there's going to be an eyeball and it's going to go on the black stud of the 1x3 slope brick like that. There's his eye. Turning it around, we are now going to have a black plate on the tanned studs again, two by two, plus the long one by three, there it is, one by three sloped brick is going to go on the two right studs. Okay. And then next to it, we got the one by two sloped brick. Whoops. On those last two gray studs there. And on the front here, on the top two black studs, they are going to put a one by two dark bluish gray plate, just like you did last time on the other side. And that should build the step. You can see that step up or step down for the rock face. The rock face is just going to go over the top of that and it should fit nice and smoothly. We've got a bit of a gap there. I'm wondering why that we've got a bit of a gap there. Oh, I see. There was a hidden 1x2 plate on there. That should go on there nice and smoothly now. There you go. So you've got this nice little join going on here. And then... You gotta pop another eyeball on the black stud of the one by three sloped brick. Put eyeball on there, and there you have. I turn his eyes towards us a little bit. There we go. We got uh, the head. I think the head of Shuff, the head and body probably. And so next we're going to build the arms. So we've got the two by two plate with the short bar or the small bar and you're going to have the bar facing to the left and then we're going to take a one by one plate with a clip and put that on the right hand side like so we've got this step down feature here so that is for the curved one by two plate black that's going to go over like that and should have this nice smooth slope towards or curve towards the bar we're going to build two of those i'm going to leave it on this side so you can see the shape of it and so we want the plate that and then we want the curve.
curve like so and there's the other arm and these are going to clip into those little black clips that are just above just above the uh, ball socket there and you're going to clip them in with the gray bar you have the slope on the top there we go and you should have something like that next we're going to put the top on so we've got the two by four uh, wedged brick and in this little gap here underneath we're going to be putting the two by two teeth element with three prongs that's going to go under in the middle at the front so it looks like that so you should have this gray stud uh, gray line stud here and then your teeth should be in the middle and that is going to go on the front oh yeah <laughs> look at that <laughs> i love it that's great and then we're just going to put this brick here another one of these two by four uh angle bricks and we're going to put one by two under it instead of a teeth element just to level it out and now you've got this kind of little dome half dome pyramid type uh shape on top i love this that's really good <coughs> And next stage is a circular two, uh, yeah, two by two uh, skid plate. I might call them skid plates because they're used a lot for um, putting on the boats and stuff like that. And then they skid across your carpet. Really cool. So we're going to call that skid plate. On top here, we've got this two by two, uh, well, it's, it's four stud area. So it's two by two. It's going to take the two by two jumper plate and that's going to go on top in the middle, leaving this one little hole or the jumper hole there. And that is going to accommodate the crystal. So it's like a crystal crown, which is kind of cool. He's really, he's really starting to look pretty cool. He really is. Uh, next is the legs, right? Okay, so two by two plate with the ball have the ball facing you while you have the ball facing you on the left hand side on the two studs on the left hand side you're going to take a two a one by two uh, slope brick and the slope's going to slope towards the ball on the rear uh stud on the left hand on the right hand side you're going to put a one by one brick next you're going to be putting in front on that last black uh, stud you're going to be putting a gold cheese wedge and the gold cheese wedge is going to slope down to the right okay so then on the top of the one by two slope brick you're going to be putting another cheese wedge light gray and that is also going to be sloping the same way as the gold one is like so And next, we're going to be putting a 2x2 two two inverted brick, and that is going to slope towards the ball joint, or the ball. The bar with the ball, like so. And then you should have one leg. Pop that into the ball socket, like so. And then we got the next one. Same again, ball facing you. On the right hand side this time we're going to be placing the one by two sloped brick slope is going to uh, slope down towards the ball and on the left hand side this time we are going to put the one by one brick and then on the last black stud we're going to have the one by one slope cheese wedge but it's going to slope towards the ball this time and this is the light gray one and then on the one by two sloped brick you're going to put the gold cheese wedge and it's going to slope towards the ball again. See that? So we changed the pattern on the uh, from the left leg to the right leg. Next, we are going to put the 2x2 two two inverted and that again is going to slope towards the ball. Like so. And you should have your second leg. And that, I think, is shuff 
Let me see if there's anything else that we've got. That is it. That looks like it. So let's get rid of the instructions. Let's have a quick review. Let's have a quick look. There you go. Here's Shuff. It's got this kind of little, uh, it's like a goofy grin again. Um, like um, uh, Seismo or Seismo had. No, not Seismo. The other one. Um, Crada. Crada. The, Crada had that kind of goofy tooth, tooth type grin. I do like this. This is really cool. The the rock face uh, wedged piece. I think that's really cool. I like this. It's great for um, like a crown or hair or um, it's it's got that rocky gem kind of element, which is really cool. It's got short stubby arms, which isn't too bad. Great, uh, <laughs> great googly eyes as well. Th these these mixels do tickle me. Uh, on the back, we have another one of those uh, rock faced um, wedge bricks, which is really cool because. Where we had the um, the finish on Seismo or Seismo, uh, it was just plain flat and it wasn't covered or anything like that, which was kind of bizarre. Um, I think it's got, it's got a little soft butt there. They smoothed out uh, the underneath of him, which is kind of cool, giving him a little bit bit of a dome or a round bottom there. You see that. And I also like the variated, or the variation of the um, the inconsistency, should we say, of the uh, legs again, giving it that rocky kind of shape. Not quite like um, Seismo's feet, but very similar, very similar. I think he looks pretty cool. I like the colours. The colours are really cool. I'm very, I'm, I'm looking forward to the um, the Max. The, uh, what is it, the uh, Cragster. Yes, I'm looking forward to the Cragster. All right. So, there you go, folks. Shuff. Come on, camera. Autofocus. There you go. Kind of got it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Have you got this? Have you got any of this, the, these Mixel sets? If you have, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. How are they? You know, what... What made you get them? That's the thing, because they're quite old, aren't they? Um, do you still use them? Do you still play with them? Do you still build uh, different mixels? Do you, do you build your own mixels? Drop a comment in there below. Let us know. And um, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down uh, if you didn't like the channel. Uh, no. I mean, I mean, if you don't like the channel, you don't like the channel, do you? No. Um, but uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down, uh, drop a comment and uh, hit that like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Sean from Britain Bricks. Peace.